Mastering your perfect riding position and being completely at ease with moving left and right, heel side and toe side edge, crossing those wakes and big smooth controlled turns, it's time for weight jumps. Here are the three main areas of your weight jump that you need to focus on. Starting out wide, cruising along on a flat board. Two, a progressive edge. And three, holding that edge and position all the way through the top of the wake and into the air. So what do I mean by getting out wide on a flat board? Well, getting out wide, that's obvious. You're cutting away from the wake of the boat as wide as you can, and when you can't go any further, you flatten off. Flattening off literally means going from your edge to a flat board, so you're not cutting away from the boat and you're not cutting in. And then, while you're cruising along on a flat board, that's the time when you set your position where your weight is nice and even and your knees are bent. Then here comes the weird bit. You're going to let the boat do all the work. By cutting out wide against the boat, you've sped up. As you get out wide and flatten off, you're going to slow down, and the boat's going to pick up speed and start to pull you back towards the wake. And all you're going to do is go with it. Don't move a muscle, just let the boat drift you. And as you drift, you're just going to hold that position nice and steady. So then comes the progressive edge. What a progressive edge means is starting easy and ending hard. So increasing your edge in increments, the closer you get to the wake. By the fact that the boat has initiated your approach, it means that you've already started easy. You drift for the first couple of feet, not doing a thing. And then the closer you get to the wake, the more edge you start to apply. If it's your heel side edge, you're just sitting down on your heels. If it's your toe side edge, you're just pushing your toes in. The bigger you wanna go, the harder your edge. But the progressive edge still remains. You've got to build it gently. At this point, you should be holding your edge solidly. Your chest should be up, your back straight, your weight even, and your knees nice and bent. And all you need to do once you get to the weight is make sure that you hold all of that good position you've already got. Don't move a muscle. Resist with your legs, resist with your body, and make sure that that board stays on edge from bottom to top of weight. Taking it back a few steps and trying to make this whole weight jumping process easier, you might want to consider lengthening the line about 10 feet and concentrate on jumping just one weight first. So by lengthening that line, you're making the weights a bit smaller and you're spreading them apart. You can start from in the middle between the weights, jumping out, and then move to jumping in from outside the weights, staying nice and close to the wake and using exactly the same technique. Once you've got that down and completely comfortable, you then shorten the rope up 15 feet, which makes the weight bigger and narrower, giving yourself a fighting chance to clear both of them. To get a little bit more height out of those weight jumps, you can start to extend off the top of the wake with your whole body, which is why you need to bend your legs out wide while you're coasting. But be sure that you are doing that off an edge. It's the edge that's the most important thing, and without that, you've got no control. Give it a good go, you'll be weight jumping in no time. Yeah. 